Oh. Guys, hopefully you can hear me all right. We are back at it. Another Thursday night live. Who do we got in here? Swampy back in the house. We got Scott uh, from PA. Roman's here. Unvaxxed Marine from Texas. John Cox. Jeremy Diamond. What's up, guys? We're at it again. At uh, showing zero views. Is that what's showing on yours, too? Oh, no. There we go. Just kicked in. All right. So, if you remember last week, we went through the whole toaster thing. Um, had a couple of issues because we did rush... Um, we did rush the candy and the leaf process a little bit. So kind of you can see how that's just the cover that goes on there. Anyways, I had to, um, after I uh, untaped it all, we did have some candy pull from, I think, this area right here. Um, and then a couple other issues I think I had with it. Um, so what I had to do at that point is I clear coated it, sanded it smooth again, and I taped it off and reliefed it. So this has been uh, reliefed and re-cleared and now I'm just once again taping it back off. We'll go ahead and mask it up here and we will run our candy again along this edge feathering uh, both ways. So giving it a nice blend. Um, really cool look. I was really happy with it when we did it last week. So um, this week I'm going to take it a little bit slower. We're going to lay the candies out, you know, not so heavy and not so fast because what happened is when I pulled that tape layer it um i had such of a build up on the edge that when i pulled the tape it just kind of it was to sit longer there's a lot of things i should have done as i applied it too fast and i pulled the tape too fast um, most of it was okay because you didn't get away with it a little bit here and there but where you really saturate it and you don't really realize how much paint you put there when you go to pull that tape and you pull it the wrong way it's going to pull it right off so um, hopefully we don't have any issues, which we shouldn't, um, we'll be taking this one a little bit slower the way we should be doing it and show you guys the right way to do it. But along the way, if you guys have any questions, we'll answer those. I know that Ashley wanted to show her t-shirt designs. We'll do that. Um, probably while I'm taping this off because that's probably the most boring part of this is the, uh, I did get it all edged out in the lime line eighth inch right now. So, uh, I'll just go ahead and mask off the rest. Um, and then we can, uh, you know, we can lay those candies out. The other thing I was going to do is I did clear coat this piece of toast right here. And my plan was with the same candy colors, I have this printed out on paper, the Harley emblem. So I'm going to um, basically just airbrush that emblem onto this to make it look like it was like, burnt into it, I guess. Um, I'm not sure if this thing will mold or what the heck, but... Uh, I don't know. I had it sitting there because I use it as a prop for one of my videos for this. And I was like, shoot, maybe I can throw some clear on that and do something. But it looks great. Like, it's going to look awesome in there. Um, it should work out. No crumbs coming off because I hit it pretty hard with, like, four coats of clear coat. Uh, so, all good. I'll go ahead and hit it with the candy and then maybe just clear to coat it again. I don't know how much work I'm going to put into a piece of toast. But, um, yeah, it'll look good in there. So, we'll get to be doing that. I'll cut out that stencil. Shouldn't be too hard. And uh, we'll get to it. One thing you do want to be careful with, uh, with fresh, because this is fresh leaf. We really don't want to tape. You know, if, it, if tape hits it, you're probably going to be okay. Um, you just really don't want to. Uh, you really don't want to have the tape to touch that. Will you hand me one of those blades, Ash? Uh, that one should work, yeah. Perfect. So I'm just going to trim this just like that. Looks like I missed a little bit right there. Looks like we have a little bit of touch up right here to do too. A little bit of area I burnt through. So you can do this a couple of different ways. It, you can either cut it like I did right there, or you can just rip the tape. Check this out. You can just rip the tape. 
get close to the edge to where you're not overlapping. And then you can always just rip the tape a little smaller. And then, you know, maybe on these areas like right here, what I'll do is I will trim just those little bits off right there. So you can either do the tear method, you know, like I just did here, and the trim method, kind of a combo of both right there. Around. Says, I hear the crickets joining in. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I, he's in that corner over there. I found him earlier today, but I just couldn't get to him. area right there I burnt through as well so these are some of the areas I'll address um, once I uh, unmask I can just touch those up had a hard enough time with this thing don't want to be knocking it off it's the most unusual things that give you problems sometimes but really this is all because i rushed it we had a uh, i think it's right when you said we were we were going for two hours so i was like oh man we gotta speed this thing up Probably. yeah sometimes you just can't you, can't you just can't do it you can you pay the price what happened pay the price do it twice wow see yeah use that one for later what did you say again actually i can't even remember what i said <laughs> but do it twice pay the price i can't remember <laughs> it was good though when, it, when i had it we'll rewatch we'll rewatch the live <laughs> kind of all over the place with masking this thing but whatever it's gonna get the job done you can you can spend the time and and trim it all up and just cut all the edges or you can just kind of rip it like i've been doing like i can rip up enough of a piece right here see a little chunk right there boom take care of that and then just overlap it again right there it's just a quick way rather than trying to trim everything out just by doing the, the tear method on the tape. When you don't want to over mask like this, I don't want to like, I don't want my tape to really lay over that. Probably going to be all right, but it, it's just one of those things where this is pretty fresh. I don't want to just kind of play it safe, you know? Let's 
gone off when the clear base is coming in. Oh, uh, it should be um, any week now. <laughs> should be either uh, next week or the following week. You'll see that. It will have a new label on it. So it'll have like a purple label, purple and black and green label. Uh, but yeah, once you'll know it, if you're on Instagram, once those come back in stock, I'll make sure I update that. So this right here, I can kind of, so I can just kind of pinch and fold right there, lay that over. When you're doing like gradual curves like that, I like that method because you're just using one continuous piece of tape and it's pretty fast. You can see how I just used that one tape, folded it here and uh, you know, I'm ended up there. So what I'll do is just. Alvo Ricardo on, is on and says he's um, been airbrushing fishing lures for about a year or two, branching out to pinstriping and flaking some panels. It's so much fun. Yeah, it's, you, you that's you get the bug. Yeah. That's Literally, a, on his case. <laughs> yeah, that's bigger things, though, from lures to panels. Yep. Carport Custom said, use the synthetic glass for the first time this week. He likes the flake better, but he's going to have to experiment more with the glass. Yeah, badass, man. Yeah, appreciate you being on here, dude. What the? <laughs> Jay said... <laughs> Oh, there's the little cricket friend. <laughs> Jason, I've definitely been enjoying these videos. Thank you. Snapfly said, is there a certain type of tape to use that won't pull up their previous layer of paint? Um, if you're pulling up your paint, you're, you probably have other issues. Um, you either may have, you're not using the right type of paint. Let's get rid of this guy. Where's he? Oh, he ran away. He'll be back. <laughs> go um yeah so if you're if you're peeling paint you, you it's either you're applying it wrong you may be like i did i kind of uh oversaturated certain areas and i didn't wait long enough to pull my tape those two reasons caused that um if you're pulling off base coat that was applied correctly most likely it's the way it was prepped so maybe maybe it's the primer or maybe it's the surface that you painted on um, is there a certain tape that they should use? Um, you can use any automotive tape, really, uh, as far as masking goes. Just use automotive uh, brand, automotive uh, tape. <laughs> Don't be using house tape. Usually yellow or green. Um, this is Limeline tape. This is made uh, with just the perfect tack, you know, inch and a half. Uh, that's what I that's what we use here, so... If not 3M, um, any of the other brands too should do just fine. But yeah, just make sure you're not getting it at like Home Depot. Because that's obviously most likely going to be like a uh, house style. The, ta the tax is going to be different and stuff. Well, there you go. Yeah, well, we're trying to make them good. You know? We got to use them. So, and I've been kind of doing this for a while. I kind of know, I'm not saying I'm like the best at anything, but I've kind of been doing this for a minute and kind of know what makes things easier and what a custom painter really wants or what I've always wanted. Try to keep the prices reasonable. All that stuff, you know. Look, I got that all taped off except for the very top. Oh, I did? Oh, right there. Look at that. I missed all this spot too. Over mask there, we'll take care of that.
What we got going on here? <laughs> I'm telling you, I tried to chase him down today. He was way up in there. He wants to be heard as well, I guess. Yep. Every life is in here, chirping away. It's like, somebody please say something. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Okay, last little bit here. We'll have it all masked up. Is that over masked right there? It's pretty close. Okay, double check, looking good. Oh, there he is. As soon as I saw him, he's gone. He's gonna come out right when I'm laying that candy. Okay. All right, I'll get a drink. We got some candy mixed up. Said he uses all line line on his paint, all his paint jobs. Price is great. Jeremy Diamond said, I have been too, Whitney. Big difference. Yeah, thanks, guys. Appreciate that. Okay. So, a little bit on the, I don't know, most of you guys have been here before, you know a little bit about candy paint. Just real quick candy paint is different because it is transparent. Um, it's not like a regular paint, which has a pigment in it, that when you lay it out, it's going to cover whatever is below it. Now, candy paint is different as because it's, it is like a, it's transparent. It's like a hair dye or a Jolly Rancher. I think there's a couple of terms that I've heard it called. It's, it's transparent so you can see through it. So by laying this down on top of the, the spun silver leaf we have here, uh, we're going to be able to dye the color into it. And still being able to see what's below. So pretty simple. This is a dye. It's not a pigment. If we were to do this with a pigmented paint, you're not going to get the same effect here. Um, so you want to make sure you're using a candy paint, also known as uh, a tri-stage is what they call it in like the uh, collision industry, I guess. But okay, you can see that it's how vibrant and how transparent it is. Really cool stuff. Carport Customs just sent you a $20 super chat and said, thanks for the great products and support you give. Man, thanks, dude. Appreciate that, man. Thank you. Yeah, I think super chats are winning today, too. So I already got your address, brother. I'm going to hook you up. I got some other stuff for you. All right, we'll give this a shake here. That mixture looks a little little thick when I poured it in. So in this ketchup bottle here, I just have some urethane reducer. I'm gonna reduce this in the cup here. Put the cap on and then I'm just gonna shake it up. Yeah, Mr. C, I took your advice last time and I remembered, turn it on every time I talk. <laughs> so if you hear echoing, it's because I forgot to mute my mic, so. All right, I'm just going to kind of blow this thing off to make sure it's clean. Maybe the bug's on there somewhere. we we'll find them. All right, okay. So instead of like last time where I just kind of poured it on, you know. Swampy sent you a $10 Super Chat. Said yeah. thanks for sending that adapter. Badass, thank you. And Super Chats win. So uh, I got your address too, buddy. You'll have something coming to you as well. So you write those down? Yeah? Okay. Oh, badass. Another winner. Um, do you, let's see. Yeah. So, I think, 
have his address? Okay. If not, uh, hit me up on Instagram. That's where I'll, I'll no. find. Yeah. No. Was a mess last night. Oh, was. <laughs> okay, we'll put the email up in there. Yeah. You got the email in the chat? No, but I'll put it up there. <laughs> yeah, inst- we find out Instagram is kind of hard to navigate with the. Yeah, it's long. Messages. Messages or... If you're, for some reason it doesn't show up. I don't want you guys to miss out. So make sure you just email us. I'll put it on here again. You can see I'm just kind of doing this in lighter coats. Not not too crazy. Randy sent you a $10 super chat and said, best way to spend a Thursday evening learning. Ah, ah thank you. And, yep, yeah, so you won again. Ro- winners. <laughs> Roman did a $20 super chat and said, hell, oh. I want something. <laughs> Here we go. And Carport Custom said, clean that poor gun, bro. <laughs> oh, this thing? I know, huh? The inside's clean. I need to soak it or something. Yeah, because last time I just kind of just poured it on, really. I just, more than I should have, first of all, and then uh, just way too quick. You can always do more coats with this, you know. You don't have to you don't have to pile it all on at once. You can always add more. You can't really take it back. Oh, yeah, yeah. Someone asked if the candies are available yet. Um, yeah, very soon. Once the base coats are in, the, those candies will be in stock as well. Uh, we're just waiting for that shipment to come in. Cody Daniel just sent you a twenty dollars super chat. Said, "Can't wait for the candies to drop." Oh, badass, man. Cody wins. Yeah, thanks, guys. I put that email in there, and I've got your name written on a list, but just make sure you email, too, so we don't miss anyone. Larry said, my work schedule has been a pain for Thursday Night Fun. Hope everything is well. Dang it. Said, Only seeing seven likes. Smash the like button, y'all. Yes, please hit that like button. Larry, you picked a good show to come to because I'm going to show you a couple designs of shirts that we have coming. Ooh. And we still got that piece of toast to paint. This is a good night, you know? Maybe put this thing together, have some waffles. Uh-oh. Larry says, what's the hoodie? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to show you. I have, um, we have that one party shirt in, actually in production. It's getting made. They're making it. And then I just have a, other, just a few other things I've messed with. But I don't know. Just, just kick around a couple ideas. I wanted to show you guys and see what you thought. Uh, Jeremy said, I missed it. What color did you mix in that for that candy? Um, I just mixed the red and the gold together to make the orange. Toaster, uh, part two. We're fixing the toaster. All right, that's looking really good. Doesn't look too oversaturated. I'm going to let it dry a little bit longer. Maybe touch up a couple areas here and a little more. John said, not every night you get to see toast painted. That's right. <laughs> then I'll move on to other things. Randy asked if he could um, DM you on Instagram. You can try. Last time, I know we had a couple people had some issues with it. So 
You can try. Yeah. Oh. oh, we should find it. We usually do. Yeah, there was just a few that we couldn't. Darren sent you a $10 super chat and said, late to class this week. Sorry, teach. Oh, yeah, badass. You win. I don't know if you know, but super chats are winning tonight. So hit us up. You're going to win something. Just need your address and your name. That's it. Okay, we are good. So I'm going to go ahead and wait. I'm, pr I'm probably safe to pull the tape at this point because I didn't go all crazy like I did last week um, and then oversaturate the edges. A little bit I did right here. Let me go ahead and... I don't know what got into me right there. Um, yeah, but I'll go ahead and let that hold off. Just wait just for a second. We will. Let's see. Let's get the paint in this piece of toast. I could, I, I could have picked a better piece of toast too. This thing's kind of small. Look at that. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Look at that. Or did it shrink when you sprayed it? It did shrink a little bit when I sprayed it. Did it? Yeah. yeah but it was still nice. small because it was like, we didn't have any bread in the fridge. It was like the last piece. Like, damn it. Okay, whatever. <laughs> This and I wasn't about to go to the gas station and get a whole nother loaf for one piece. And then this is bigger than what I thought, but I'm gonna go ahead and trim this out. Put the toast over there. Scott W just sent you a fifty dollar super chat and said, "Thanks for checking out my work and giving input on on Instagram. I really appreciate it." Holy shit! Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the super chats. And you win. You win with super chats tonight. So um, hit us up on the, we have your name written down, whatever your tag name is on his, on uh, YouTube there. Let us know and then we'll get you taken care of. So I just printed this Harley emblem to search that on the internet, found, looked up Harley Barn Shield. Um, I'm going to trim it out just with a, with a razor blade or, or the X-Acto blade. Rick Wallace just sent you a fifty dollars super chat. Wow! Thank you so much, and you win. We <laughs> know. Holy crap! You're gonna win. Yeah. Uh, let us know. We're gonna have a lot of stuff to ship out. That's okay though. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate you being here. You know, first. It's, yeah. Just thanks for everything. I like it when people win. It brings up the mood here. I like it too. Uh, Scott, or let's see, where am I at? Kent said, I subscribed to your Instagram. What are the benefits of that versus uh, just following you? I'm so sorry. You're, there's nothing really there. Um, you can unsubscribe. I don't have anything there yet. Uh, if you do subscribe to the YouTube platform, um, there is a couple of videos there and there is also a limeline discount code that you get and if i remember right it's um 15 off or 20 percent off it's actually pretty good uh, so you, you'll get that discount code on that on the website there too for that so maybe sign up for the youtube um but i don't know i haven't really messed around enough with the the instagram uh, subscription part really i have actually been kicking around the idea and I, i'm going to imp be implementing a course which would go over um, all the fundament on all the fundamentals of uh you know the equipment that you need um talking about the different primers uh different clear coats difference between you know 1k and 2k some of the stuff like the candies that we talked about um, tri stages um everything that i kind of learned um, I, I came from a background where I went to a community college and I learned how to, uh, paint in the uh, collision repair field in, uh, in that community college down in Salt Lake city. So, uh, um, yeah, I just learned, basically I learned how to fix a dent, replace panels, um, I learned about, you know, paint. They uh, went through all the lectures of ICAR and all that stuff. I'm actually ICAR certified in something and like a lot of different stuff that I just don't, I never really paid the money for any of that, but I did go through all the, lect the lectures, the classes. Um, I have a really, 
um, like I said, it's all, a lot of it's about the fundamentals, really. It's, it's knowing how uh, how paint works, uh, the process, um, different ways to get adhesion. And then after that, when it gets into custom paint, really, it's about breaking a lot of those rules. Uh, because, you know, we're, we're doing a lot of different stuff. We're layering paint, creating paint edges. We're doing, you know, a lot of stuff that you have to deal with. But you still need to have and know the fundamentals of, you know, the, the uh, how to lay out the primer, you know, what kind of primer should you use um, if it's bare metal or if it's been factory painted, what's the proper way to, to uh, prep that part, um, get into the different spray guns um, and then into, you know, getting into the different uh, types of custom painting, you know, we'll get into the realistic fire because man, I'm telling you that will still pay the bills. Like if you can, if you can create stencils like this or a skull stencil, here's another one right here. Adventures uh, of Nova boy just sent you a $20 super chat. Oh yeah. Said, Always enjoy your show. Thanks. Yep. And you can, you can thank you. I appreciate that, that super chat. You're going to win. So make sure you hit us up your winner. Super chats win tonight. So yeah, if you can make a paper stencil si similar to this skull, it, it's it's you know it's easy. You can you can uh, you know take the idea of the, what the customer wants, whether it's a skull, whether it's a bird, whether it's a whale or a dog or a, uh, maybe it's a military logo, um, maybe it's an eagle, whatever it is. You can take that, implement it, put the fire into it, you know, and you can make a lot of cool stuff and, and make pretty good money doing that. Also doing, doing the metal flake like we've been doing recently. Um, it's been great, getting really popular. Um, I, I feel like somebody, if you just know how to flake and you know how to use the candies and you know how to use the line work, uh, lay, out, lay out the patterns, you can make a living doing this. It's, it's no, no problem. You just got to put yourself out there. So you got sidetracked. Yeah. So you said. What did I say? <laughs> You started saying. I see this toast here. I'm getting ready to paint it. I'm getting excited. Okay. <laughs> you know, we're starting to say you've been thinking about putting something together, and then you start going on. Oh yeah, yeah. On. That was it. That's it. That's what I was thinking about putting together. Of course. Yeah. An yep. Online course. You didn't oh yeah, that. yeah. An online course. Okay. <laughs> yes. Oh, and then and with this online course, I was thinking to. Um, there's a. It's going to be through a certain platform that will allow me to. Uh, pre-sell um, the course so some of you guys would be able to get like uh, it would be a huge discount uh, because the course wouldn't be fully built but um, I would be looking for feedback as well as far as like uh, what you guys want to see uh, what I might be missing um, once again I'm um, starting raw on this you know basic fundamentals is where, where, where I'll be starting I'll have I'll have an outline of the course but but looking for people that will um, you know, willing to, you know, get a discount on that course to go through it and, you know, kind of help me out as far as maybe um, there's certain stuff that I'm maybe missing or, or something that just doesn't even make sense to you. I can uh, clarify that and make sure that I clarify it when, you know, I, I build this course. Cause I can, I, with these courses, you can always go in, fine tune them. I know I'm going to kind of start dirty, just kind of like with the YouTube thing. They're not going to be the best, but they're going to be the best I can do. And I can go back and rework this stuff for you guys. So um, I'm going to do it. I'm going to start here pretty soon within the next week or so. And uh, so be, be on the lookout for that. But somebody did, since they did mention that, that will be available here, hopefully soon. And then we're also going to try, an idea I want to do is try to have like paint nights where, or like maybe a two-day paint thing where husbands and wives can come or just husband or whatever you can kind of come and learn and he'll teach and paint something and take something home but come hang out and have fun too yeah that sounds awesome i think that's we talked about that i think that would be fun um see if we have some local interest people brian said what's up from houston texas love to work me and my wife just found your channel we're trying to learn oh awesome the both of you so cool scott said what is going to be the price oh of the um you know i think the introductory price was going to be under a hundred dollars so like 99 bucks is what i was planning on for that um and then you'd also have that course for life once it's built built out um 
you'd be one of one of the few. But uh, you know, I'm, I don't know what the target uh, price would be once it's finished. I'm guessing it's around the five hundred dollar mark because it is going to be uh, pretty extensive. Um, I'm really going to put a lot of work into this and make sure it's done right. But but yeah, that's the, that's the plan so far. So don't don't. Uh, this is I know this is live, but you can go back and rewatch this. I could be wrong. You know. Maybe it's cheaper. Maybe I'm like that's just too much. Someone said, I'm glad, uh, Mr. C said, ooh, I caught myself. <laughs> Mr. C said, I'm so glad you're doing that, Adam. Patrick said, laugh out loud, it, it's a Harley sandwich. <laughs> Patrick said, wait, we're doing an online course? Yeah, it's going to be online, yep. Because, you know, I believe it a lot... Believe it or not, a lot of this stuff is really, it's knowing the product and uh, knowing how to use it and how to get things, you know, prepped and stuff like that. Then Brian said, appreciate you, brother. Yeah, thank you. Uh, mine sent you $15 super chat. Woo. Thank you very much. Patrick said $99. Yep. Where do I sign up? Oh, yeah. I like to hear that. Jeremy Diamond said local. Um, I'm local. I'm in. My wife, uh, me and my wife, to come and hang out. Awesome. Yes, we'd love to see you there. Yeah. At least we know so we got two. We got two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's it. You know, I just cut this out of paper. Pretty easy. Um, yeah, not bad at all. Do we have one of the tape removal blades over there somewhere? I keep losing those things. I wonder if I should do the other side. Hold on, I should probably do this other side real quick while I'm at it. Those things run away. Well, that, that damn thing's on my screen now. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that, guys. That was probably loud in your ear. Um, what was the question? Yeah. You get a metal plate that. Toast. Oh no, I it, uh I probably should have when I I first cleared it though. This is actually clear coated already, um, and I'll clear it again. But maybe I'll sprinkle a little bit of clear a little bit of uh, metal flake on that. It's so porous, it'll stick in there pretty good. Okay, let's go ahead and pull Put that off to the side. We'll go ahead and pull the tape on this guy. Mayan said, I like to be here every Thursday night live. Yes. Yeah, we love that you're here. And did you, did you tell Mayan that they won something? I don't think so. You said, I don't think you said. Oh, yeah. Did. Super Chats win. So you guys got to hit us up on the email. Info at Limeline. There it should be there somewhere. But yeah, uh, we got your name written down. So make sure you uh, get us your info. And you won't get a prize. May when, maybe it's a toast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe somebody will end up with this toaster. <laughs> hey, that's that's up in the game there, huh? <laughs> Did one of you guys end up with a toaster. Maybe somebody just get the toast, right? Like, damn it. <laughs> I was really wanting the toaster, but uh, okay, I'll take the toast. Smokey said, did you ever get one of those Avante airbrushes from Harbor Freight? We, no, we were going to go check it out. No, we didn't. And then what did we do? We worked on the pool all day. Oh, Sorry. yeah. <laughs> we're getting you, but.
Jay Light said, I've watched most of your videos and it gave me the confidence to try painting on my own. I redid my old iron head sportster and silver flake and blue candy with lime work. Line work, sundry scales and lace. Nice. Ooh, that sounds pretty. Yeah, it's not that once you get a hang of a few things, it's really not that hard. Like any of this. Just being patient with it. Um, you're gonna just understand that you're gonna run into little problems here and there. You just have to know how to how to fix them. Like in this case, I did rush. Like I said, I rushed the round and hoping it's all going to be fixed here. So now we got nice clean lines. I'm using this plastic blade because it gives me less of a chance of gouging out the paint. A lot of times you'll see like. When tape's being pulled, you'll see like a little mark like right there in the black because you just dig a little bit deep. It used to be in all my paintwork. Like I had that problem all the time. Then I started using this and then, yeah, cleaned it up. Keeps from marring it up and stuff like that. Swampy, how many likes do we have? If we get 70 likes, I'll show you the shirts. There's 96 on here, so come on. There's how many? 96 on oh. one. That should be easy. You guys want to see the shirts? Yeah, just hit that like button. She'll do it anyways, guys, so don't even trip. <laughs> <laughs> Creative Cuts Media said, you how do you spray it. so long without dry, with, without tip dry is that because you're using solvent paint air pressure combination of both thank you yeah so he's talking about t having the tip dry a lot with the paint um yeah it's the solvent base definitely less tip dry um absolutely 100 percent you also get better and faster coverage with uh, solvent based paints you need to be you need to be patient with any kind of paint coming through an airbrush because if you want it to be nice you need to have the paint thinned out enough to um, create nice blends and stuff like that. Um, but uh, yeah, that's that. Did I finish that question? Sorry about that. I get talking to my because you're using solvent paint. Oh uh, yeah, solvent. Yep. Patrick. Patrick just sent you a twenty dollars super chat. Oh, badass! Thank you. Patrick, you win. Another winner. Just, uh, you know what to do. Email the email link in the comments. Is that where it's at, babe? Yep. Okay. Yeah, so you can check it out there. Just email your name because we have it written down. Miranda just sent you a $20 super chat. Wow, it's on fire tonight. Thank you. Yep, same thing. Let us know, and we'll get you hooked up with some stuff. IG says, so I'm about to try my first time, too, because of you. Is there a reason you only do black vase? I was thinking about doing gold vase with gold flake. Yes, you can do that. Um, and that would work. Doing it that way, you could run into a different set of problems right off the bat um that is being is because when you lay out the the gold base is fine the gold flake could be a problem um because when you lay out the gold flake and you clear over it you wait for the clear to dry and you need to sand it smooth like this is right here because this is a smooth surface even though all that flake is there the okay. flake someone sorry someone wants to know where you're talking about clear do you have to clear every layer you you after you flake it it needs to be cleared clear coated you, like you would have like like you would be finishing it you'd clear coat it you need to make sure you get enough clear coat applied and it's thick enough of a mill to be able to cover the flake texture the flake is chunky and when it sprays on obviously obviously it's going to be a rough texture to start well, you can't really tape to that rough texture, so you need to clear coat it uh, and give it a few coats of clear coat, let it dry, that, and then, you know, 
then you're ready to sand it and then you can um, apply your tape at that point. And then you would do your paint work and then you would clear it again. You could do more paint work after that, clear it again. You just need to make sure you sand it in between coats. So hopefully that answers that question. Did I answer that question? Oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, it's hard to work and talk at the same time. I don't know. Black base coat. They're yeah. golden gold. So yeah. So oh oh sorry. Um the so when you sand uh when you sand the gold uh metal flake, what happens is you're gonna sand the the color gold off of the flake. So as you can see, this is a silver flake. If it was gold flake and you were to sand through the clear coat, you would uh basically sand the gold color off of some of your flakes. So you're going to have specks of gold of, of silver all over. Um, I've had this run into this problem. I've, I've had this problem before myself and the way I fixed it is by candy and over the whole thing with a candy gold and then moving on from there, but it's a pain in the butt. So if you do use any color of flake besides silver, make sure you put enough clear coat over the top that when you sand it smooth, um, you're not going to burn through into the and sand off the color off of the flakes. Does that make, does that make sense? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So that's why I prefer to do silver and I always do silver, uh, because we're laying out candy colors anyway. So we were able to dye these. Um, so if I wanted, basically, if I wanted all this gold, I could just put a gold candy on it. So silver is just a good color just to start with all around. Um, I like the black base coat because it makes the flake pop more, but it all depends on the size of flake that you're using. If you're using like a really fat, chunky uh, 0.025 flake, then you're probably going to want to lay down a silver base coat because don't, you're you're not going to get those spread out enough. I mean, they're not going to they're not going to give you, you as much coverage. You're gonna it's going to be kind of speckly all over because they're so big. Um, the the smaller the flake is it almost starts to turn into to like almost like a base coat. Like when you spray it, it's like you get really good coverage. You know, you spray it again, you get even better coverage. You know, after three coats, you got pretty close, you know, to about 90% coverage, probably but what we have here. Um, and then having that black base coat just adds a little bit more of a sparkle uh, to the, to the flake for reasons that I really don't even know, but it, it does. It does. Over the years, I've always, and I, and I feel, I feel like enough people can agree with me on that. It's one of those things where people don't understand it until you actually do it. You know, spray flake over silver and then spray it over black and then see for yourself, I guess. Someone asked, if you're in a bind, can you use regular clear instead of inner coat? Yeah, it's better to use clear coat. Um, you can use inner coat clear. So he's asking, well, it depends on that question, actually. You need to use clear coat in order to uh, build up the uh, enough of a barrier to sand it. Um, so, yeah, so you, you have to use clear coat in order to do that. Inner coat clear, you can use inner coat clear um, to lay the flake. But if you're gonna if you're gonna mix the flake in an inner coat clear and spray it, you're gonna get more of the texture. You're gonna get in, rather than doing it with 2k clear coat because with regular clear coat you mix it in with that you're gonna have it's going to be able to flatten out more on the surface and to be honest it's more durable because you're now mixing your flake in a 2k clear coat that's chemically hardened that's what 2k means there's two parts to it the chemically hardened and now your flakes are suspended in a clear coat that's chemically hardened rather than an inner coat clear or clear base coat that is just basically it's like a jelly you know it's like a it really that's the once you layer it on so thick it doesn't even dry all the way i swear and then you're just trapping it all you're just trapping all that flake in that uh that 1k material it works i'm not saying any way is wrong any way is right i just know which way i like to do it and when i put instructions on the limeline stuff i like to do it the way that i feel like it's easier and it's better and i feel like the black base coat mixed in with uh, 2k clear coat applied with that and then um after you get the the flake on 
to the desired look that you want, you just keep on clear coating it with uh, two to three, maybe four, even four more coats of, depending on how you spray, of a regular clear coat over the top in the same session. You're doing this all together. And then you'd wait that, let that dry for, you know, 12 to 24 hours, depending on the clear coat. And then you'd sand it smooth. Once you sand it smooth, you're ready to lay your tape lines and um, yeah, kind of go from there. Yeah. Uh, Sorry, that was long winded. Yeah, it was. Uh, Keem Steady said, I use Gretex H2O. I thought it needed to be prepped before auto clear and wipe with solvent cleaner. Learn not to do it again. Um, he says, I think I just should have blown and sprayed. Yeah, sometimes you got to be careful with some of that stuff. Um, like you see me spray glass cleaner on stuff all the time, right? Here, you know, spraying glass cleaner on this to clean up the residue and maybe even before I've taken it into the booth. But if you were to do that and you had, you were using waterborne paints, it would literally just take all that paint right up. So yeah, yeah just, uh, just know your paints, what you're working with. Not all the rules apply to water-based as they do solvent-based. It's going to be a different animal, um, but they both work. You can, you can make them both work. But if you were asking me, I would say a uh, solvent base is going to be more friendly uh, especially when you're new because there's a lot of issues that can come up as we know I me mean, being a 20 year painter I still come up with you know still fixing problems Swampy said I'm writing a book custom paint for dummies Riel said would you sand between every three coats or each coat of clear no you can do the coats um, consecutively uh, you just wait for the dry times between you know between coats depending on the temperature and what you're spraying um, you know, usually 10 to 15 minutes between coats. Once you max out at about four coats, you get it, you get so much clear on there that it, you, it just, it's hard to layer more on there um, than that because it's just getting so thick. Um, you would just, after those four coats or so, you would just let it dry and then you would sand it smooth, not sand through. You're just, you're putting, you have enough clear on there to sand it smooth and then you just move on from there. So basically we're layering it up. But yeah, no, usually between those layers, you got uh, three to four coats of clear coat between this. You know, after this, I'm going to throw it back into clear coat and uh, probably fix the errors after that. Because this piece is so small and I'm not in a hurry to really have it done. Like, yeah, I've done a portion of this so far. I still need to fix. Uh, let's see, where are some areas I saw that I needed to fix? Right here. When I sanded that, I ended up burning through that edge right there back into the silver. So instead of, you know, I could just tape that off again, or I could have just done it while I had it, hit that with black. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead. This thing's so tiny. This It's going to go in the booth with another part that I have. So I'm just going to go ahead and send this into clear coat, come back, fix those couple of areas. You know, I'll scuff it down, come back, fix those couple of areas, and then put it back into clear coat again, another three coats of clear or so. And then this thing will be ready for, um, you gotta be ready to go. Yeah, we're gonna be Isaac, ready to cut and buff this thing if we want. Isaac sent you a ten dollars super chat and said, "Awesome, thank you." I have about twenty questions. To get okay, to. sorry. Um, let's see, you don't want to use Cretex for automotive. Can you put the chameleon over the flake? Um, you. You can, it's not going to have as much of an effect though, as if you were to put it on a, a solid color. When mixing base coat for an airbrush, do you mix a little at a time or 16 ounces worth and then, and just slowly use it? I'm trying to make a transparent black over the flake, but only need a little bit, not a spray gun. Yeah, you're gonna wanna just mix up what you need. Um, anytime you can just mix up what you need, that that'd be the way to go for sure. Unless you are doing a whole project that you'd want to want the color to be the same, uh, plan for that. But uh, Helen yeah, sounds Will, like you're on the right track to doing that. Uh, Helen Will said, "I'm loving this reveal with the unmasking of the tape." Past that part. <laughs> um, someone uh, keep steady said that he's painting a skateboard, not a car. Talking about using the Cretex and. Oh, a skateboard? Yeah, yeah. No, you can use it. Um, you can even use a on cars. Um, you're just going to have 
it's going to be a little bit more of a learning curve because you have to be super patient with waterborne paints. It doesn't go on as quickly. So you have to make sure that you're applying it really slow, kind of building it up. Um, and that's hard to do with the trigger because if you're new to the trigger, you know, it's a, uh, you, you, you know, you're going to have to learn that, but uh, that's why I, I, I feel like solvent based paints um, are the way to go, but they all work in their own ways. Do you guys have bigger mermaid scales available? We just have the one size right now. Those those fit pretty good on most stuff, unless you're doing it on a car or something. Maybe you want something bigger. And then Isaac sent you the $20 super chat. Did you tell him he's a winner? Oh, badass. You're a winner. Isaac, I don't know if you know that or not. But you won. Is there a certain lace you use or anything from a fabric store? Um depends on the it, I, I would err on the side of spraying it with a candy if you can um because the black is going to kind of mud it up just a little bit but although we did spray this on on black the black on silver so it, that's kind of up to you that was half the question what was the other question is there certain lace you use or anything from the fabric store oh yeah it's better to spray it on I would just buy everything, a little piece of everything they got. That, uh, yeah, that's what I would do. Sometimes you'll get lucky and find some cool stuff. Is that black base but for the lace and the scales? This is actually a black candy right here, um, but, but black base coat is going to look more of a sparkle because that black is a candy. Joe said the toaster looks rad. Uh, IG said, dude, you are the man that makes so much sense. Thank you. Um, Keep Steady said, thank you. Appreciate it. Sorry about the choppy typing. Um, I think hopefully that we're caught up. I don't, there's a lot of things coming in. So yeah. If I, uh, there's yeah. always next week. Boop. All right. Well. How long was that? Just an hour or so? It feels so pretty light outside. All right, guys. Well, got a lot of winners, a lot of super chats. You show them the shirts. Oh, did you show them the shirts? Okay. I haven't yet. Oh, yeah. No, let's do it. Let's go and show them the shirts. Uh, one more question. How, let's see. There's two more questions. Kevin. Kevin. One more question. How would you flake aluminum rims, and is it possible to do gold foil on the honeycomb? Uh, so gold leafing on the honeycomb, the good question. Um, if you're very, very patient with it, I could see that working. Um, but you're going to have to make sure that the glue is laid out really good. And um, definitely double leafing, making sure you get all those edges. Because if you think of that honeycomb, it has, well, eight edges on each one of those. So. It's a lot. So it's a lot to make sure you push down to make it look right. I'd probably practice it on something to make sure. Maybe I'll try it on one of these lives to see if I can make it work. When you do the lace, can you use different colors like blue and silver? Yes, you can. You can use uh, just make sure you're using a, a high contrast to what you're applying it to. So like if you were to do uh, purple, so say like you were to do it like blue maybe just do like the same color of blue lace and then you put blue over it again it it's it's gonna be hard to see so maybe if you use a dark purple you know for the lace you could pull that off and then hit it with the blue you could even edge it with the blue blending it in say like you know maybe you did these in purple instead um and then you could just you know blend it all in with the blue afterwards this it would definitely it would look we still could we could hit this like i said we could hit this thing with gold and it would change everything really gold except for leaving this orange basically the same color it is it maybe it maybe tint the orange just a little bit more on the gold side but yeah that could happen too there's a lot of it's kind of working in reverse a little bit because if we use a light colored candy over this you know we can we could pretty much wash it over the whole thing and it's still gonna look great a little bit different look i like the silver um, 
I like the way it's looking right now. I wouldn't change it. I do got to fix a couple things like right there. Oh, there's the shirt. There's the party shirt. Oh, that shirt was the tag was white. I wonder if they could flip that because they put their logo tag on it. If they could make that black and then the writing white on that. Ooh. But yeah, I don't know what you guys think of that one. That's the that's the party style shirt that we'll be doing. It has um as you can see. It's in gray instead of black. Yeah, and it's in a dark gray. Yeah. I figured. You know, because everything's kind of like everything's kind of grayish, you know. Like every time my stuff gets dirty, like black gets dirty, it's because it's gray on it. So I was like, damn, if we do dark gray, it'll look cleaner more. It's also going to be in like a wrinkle free type material yeah so those are the ones that are getting made guys so. yeah so we're getting those made we're getting them in uh large extra large extra extra large and triple x yeah so that's getting made right now it's a couple weeks out but that one's they're working on it and it's coming and then just let me know I threw it together, so let me know. Ooh, he has big muscles. I like it. Let us let her know about the muscle man. Yay, yay or nay on the muscle. Okay, next. Oh, kind of eighty style. I like it. Okay, let's go to the next one. Hey, I know that guy. <laughs> <laughs> you guys like that one? Which one you like the best so far? Let's see. We got one more? Or is that it? One more. One more. Besides the party shirt, because we're doing that one for sure. Yeah, this one's good. It's just kind of hard to read. Kind of maybe if the maybe if the lettering was in white. I don't know. Let us know which one you like. Of those, go ahead and flip it through again. Time warp, lime line. We got the eighties. Eighties invasion. Eighties invasion. Oh, that one's coming. The party shirt, and we got the muscle man. But yeah, let us know in the comments what you like. We'll go back and read through those. Um, if you want to put your shirt size off of what that too, I need to put a little more orange on this, but let's go ahead and do it. Okay, so there's some questions or comments. While you're doing that, let's see if I can read them. Okay, Jason Hall says, Hey, Jason, can you play on? Oh, just in time. Hey, you won. Just so you know. He said, Keep it up with the lives. Always great to be here waiting on your restocks. Uh, make sure you get us your info, your address info. We will. You win with that super chat. Okay, that's more orange. I rock that. Scott says looks awesome. Darren says nice shirt and the best toaster I've ever seen. I'd weld that thing to my bike and rig a power supply. Sorry, air breath stretcher and needle size. I have a hard time with knowing where to set pressure. Sorry, to yeah. Um, so what the pressure? It's all uh, depends on the thickness of your paint. Um, I'm constantly changing my air pressure. We you, you maybe pull that line line one off. Um, I'm constantly changing my air. So, so it all kind of depends, but right now I'm running about 20 PSI. I got the paint pretty thick on there, but yeah, this, this emblem will be going right there. Yeah. There Charles, no such oh, thing that's as better. a dumb question. Like Swampy said, that's what the lives are for. for yeah, sure. that's what they're for. And we love to answer them. So.
Okay. Well, I think that's it. Just reading the feedback. Read them real quick. The time warp and the gun spray one. All of them are awesome. The muscle. Great job, Ash. Thanks, Larry. That last one would be cool if it said limelight at the bottom. Mm, the last one, meaning the one that says paint some flake, maybe, Jay? I like the 80s and the lime line, muscle lime, and cartoon Adam is cool. Larry just sent a $20 super chat. Oh, badass, Larry. Thank you. And you're a winner. You are a winner. I like the 80s and the one with Adam. Time warp, lime line, muscle man. Muscle man's cool. I like the lime guy. Jeremy said, where in Layton is your shop going to be located? Um, She's off of Main Street, off of Angel. Street. Main and Angel. Yes, he meant the last one. Okay, cool. I can work on that. Thanks for the feedback, guys. That's just me messing around. I can't sleep at night. So I just, I'm on an app. Just, I don't know. Just figuring it out, huh? Just well, trying. Good job, babe. I'm proud Thanks. Of you for that. Yeah, I'll re look through your guys' feedback again and see. Um, it, guys, thank you. Okay. Tina said, Tina says, boxer briefs are oh my gosh, boxer briefs or swim trunks with the muscle man. Oh, yeah, I like that. Good, we might do that. Like the 80s one. I know I want to. The next thing I want to do is like make some hats, and then someone said, like, maybe some posters. So that's on my radar, too. All right, cool. Dang, we got lots of winners, guys. Yep. That's fun for me. Thanks for all the super chats. Yeah. We will get you. We already have. Um, but um, yeah, thank you and very, very much. One more time. Okay, she's going to. Y'all know who to be contacting. Yeah, there's the email, you guys, or you can try Instagram. I'll have this list of people, and then I did with a couple of them. If I don't get cross off my list, I mention it on the live. So just make sure that we don't skip anybody. But try to get you guys your prize. Huh. See, what a great idea. Okay, well, thanks, guys. See you next Thursday. We'll figure out something else to do now that we have the toast. And we should do an auction for one of your things that you painted. Oh, yeah. And then someone just said, um, do you not sell gold flake? I can't find it on your page. Uh, no gold flake because the way I teach it, you pretty much would use gold candy in its place. And we did talk a little bit about that. You can rewatch the live how... You could, using colored flake, you risk the fact of sanding off the color once you go to smooth it out. Probably could have said that at first. That made a lot more sense than all the babbling I did earlier. Yeah, <laughs> okay. very long. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Okay, but yeah, if, if something, might, that, something doesn't make sense that I say, just let me know. I'll try to say it a different way. Thanks, guys, okay. for being here on another Thursday night. See you guys. Thank yeah. you. Bye.